Hello YouTubers, this is CG Hot Wheels. I'm here with another video. I'm going to showcase the new E and F case cars that my dad and I have been finding within the last week or so. These are now starting to hit Publix's as we've been in a very long, consistent drought ever since September, but just recently they started to get in small shipments of the brand new cars. So without further ado, let's get started because there's a lot to showcase. So first up we have the 96 Nissan 180SX Type X in the Advon livery. It's got those signature sleepy-eyed pop-up headlights. And those new wheels, which have already been seen on a new casting, the Honda City Micro Car. It looks pretty good on this one, too. Next up, we have a new color of the 015 Mercedes AMG GT in metallic black. Look at all those pearls, or all those glitters in the paint, or the speckles, as they call it. Pretty cool. Uh, the Nissan is part of the E case, and the Mercedes is part of the F case. Next up is an E-Case model, a recolor of the custom Datsun 240Z in red. And I'm filming this on my new phone that I got a couple days ago. It's a Samsung Galaxy Idol 7. I believe that's what it's called. It's pretty nice. It's got the uh, fender-mounted mirrors like a lot of Japanese cars do. And those new Steelies, which are very, very popular. Next up, we have the 63 Chevy 2 in metallic green. Green with flames. Next up, we have the 017 Ford GT in blue with white rally striping. I still haven't seen one of these in real life. The major downside is the EcoBoost V6 engine that it offers instead of the nice big brawny V8 that the uh, 2005 to 2006 Ford GT offered. Next up we have a recolor of the Lotus Esprit S1 in orange. We had the Toys R Us exclusive recolor in blue, dark blue, a couple months ago, and the first color, what was it? I forget what it was. It was pretty cool in pearl orange, and a little Easter egg that uh, subscribe uh, I saw on a YouTube video. The license plate says HWC 1968 to commemorate the 50th anniversary of Hot Wheels. So that's pretty cool. I just found this one today, the Volkswagen Beetle in red with flames, also featuring the new Steelys. See there, that gives you an idea of what it looks like. And the engine is metal, so that probably means that the body is, actually the body is die cast metal, because so I figured it would be plastic. Here's a highly sought after casting. The Volkswagen Type 2 pickup in blue, featuring a very rustic look to it. A very distressed, rusty truck. So, And it can stow a car on there. Hey, you could put the Beetle on there. It's the right size. Or the cool Cobby. Another highly sought after new casting, we have the custom Ford Maverick in white, which at a quick glance looks like a Japanese import. It doesn't look like an American car. With the fender flares, the front chin spoiler, the fender mounted mirrors, the uh, gold 10 spoke wheels, it looks like a Japanese import. It looks like an old Datsun or something. And it's got the um, those are the fog lights and the turn signals, I believe. And then another sought-after new casting, the 71 Porsche 911 
in the Urban Outlaw livery by Magnus Walker. And there's his signature printed on every package, both worldwide and domestic. And what I like about this casting is that it's got plastic inserts for the turn signals and the taillights. So no matter what variation gets released, it'll always have a detailed set of turn signals, of parking lights and taillights. The headlights, not so much. And probably the most sought after casting, the Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR in metallic blue, which is also featured as the Super Treasure Hunt. I still like the fact that they kept the rear end detailed. That's really nice. And the steelies, which give it a nice look to it. And then the four spoke real riders that the Super has makes it look even better. So this is part of the E case. This is E case. This is E case. E case. E case. And I believe F. I could be wrong. Next up we have the Pagani Waira Roadster in metallic dark gray. With this uh, light on, it really shows the glittered paint. It's got the detailed front and rear end, which is really nice, nice little touch, despite having a pinstripe on the side. But I guess while well, that goes well, actually, that passes the uh, three-side rule because there's no roof. It's a convertible. Next up, we have the 015 Dodge Challenger SRT Hellcat, the full name, in pearl yellow, which is pretty nice. Nice successor of the black variation. And I've been over it many times that they can't use the word Hellcat because it has the word hell in it which can be considered a curse word for kids, and Hot Wheels wants to stay family friendly. And that was my DVD player closing by itself. Uh, we have the Custom 53 Chevy making a return after a couple years of absence in metallic red with flames, and the new Steelies, and the authentic clear hood, which made it really famous. Who doesn't like red with flames? A lot of cars in this batch have flames on them. And let's see, the Pagani is from the E case, the Challenger Hellcat is from the F case, and the Custom 53 Chevy is from the E case. Here's an F case model, another red car with flames, the 67 Pontiac Firebird. This is the custom one with no hood, instead it just has a has a completely exposed engine. This is the, uh, let's see, I think it's from Gas Monkey. The, um, or no, not Gas Monkey. It was a um, one of the Hot Wheels designers' own personal cars. It was first released in the Zamac. And I have one tucked away back there. But here is the second variation of it, which a lot of people are disappointed about, actually. But I like it. It's red with flames. Can't go wrong. Next up, we have the 68 Mercury Cougar in the Champion Performance livery. Pretty nice. Very underrated casting, if you ask me. And next up, we have another new Porsche casting. We have the 917 LH in the famous Golf livery. And just like the uh, 911, it's got plastic inserts for the lights. In this case, the headlights are part of the window piece. And I think a lot more Hot Wheels should have that. I think that would fix the problem with no detail, is plastic inserts. But that probably costs, probably costs more to mass produce as well. Next up, we have another golf livery of the Indy 500 Opal which is going to be the super treasure hunt of the F case. And this was made available at K-Day, which I didn't go to. It's a long story, but uh, I'm not going to get into it. Next up, we have the Bone Shaker in red. It's a recolor. I believe this is part of the F case. 
the Indy 500 is part of the F case, the Porsche is part of the F case, the Cougar is part of the E case, and I already said that the Firebird is part of the F case. Next up we have a Valentine's Day 57 Chevy, which is pretty nice. John from Puchifero B would love this casting. He loves 57 Chevys, or as he calls them, 57 Cudas. And he calls 70 Cudas, I think, 70 uh, Chevys or something like that. I don't know. He mixes, he purposely mixes them around to be, to be silly. Next up, we have the Moon Eyes 010 Pro Stock Camaro. Pretty cool. Moon Eyes is very popular, just like golf. Next up, we have the return of the Fast and the Furious 770 Dodge Charger that was made famous in the seventh movie when it jumped out of the airplane. And they had to uh, find uh, Jason Statham's army, is the bad guys. And last but not least, we have the six. Actually, well, yeah, it is a '69. It doesn't say it though, but I know it's a '69 Dodge Charger Daytona recolor in blue. Because the first one was in orange. Pretty cool. I like this one better. I like the five spoke wheels too. So there you have it. Brand new E and F case cars that I found all at Publix. So I don't need to go to the K-Day. So Publix has been hooking us up. Even though <laughs> if anyone from Lamley is watching, they'll know that I complain a lot about not finding certain cars. And then just a couple days later I find them. So kind of hypocritical that way. But... um Anywho, I guess you just have to have, I just, I have, eh, I can't even speak. I guess I have to have a little more patience. So hopefully this means that Publixes will be getting in their new cars every single month until October or so, and then the drought comes again, and then we don't have any cars again. But that's not for a little while. All right, so take care and happy collecting.